it's a AP. Happy and you know it's a AP. What's good? It's a P. One in a billion and I'm back. If you in my crew, if you in a body, say ah oh, ah oh, ah oh, ah oh, oh, it's the body. Guys, today, today I found out some breaking news, okay? Michael Jordan's rookie card, it just sold at an auction for $150,000. That's right, $150,000. For those of you who don't know, I, I have been collecting cards since 1990, okay? Since 1990, that was 30 years ago when I first started collecting cards. Guys, I will show you. First, I'm going to show you a book that I had, one of the first Beckett magazines that I had, and show you how much Michael Jordan's rookie card was worth back then. Give me a second. Okay, so I'm back, guys. To you guys, it only took me one second, but it really took me about 10, 15 minutes to get all these different books. So back in the early 90s, I was a straight card fanatic. So I was so serious about it that I got every magazine that I could that would teach me more about trading baseball and basketball cards and finding out the value of those cards as well. So... The Beckett magazine, man, it was the magazine to get. So this magazine, we got the first dream team. And look at the design on this magazine right here. This magazine, by the way, was July. Look at the date. July of 92. I'm, I don't know, man. I, I have so much memorabilia. I might actually open the store or something doing this kind of stuff this magazine right here this look at the artwork i remember drawing this too i used to draw a lot this was the following month that was august of 92. then by this time jordan had won a couple rings this was september of 93. Also, let's look at the back of each magazine. So, Jordan on this side. Then we have the Boston Celtics, Larry Bird, Robert Parrish, and Kevin McKellar on the back of that one. That boy Jimmy Jackson was on the back of this one. Jimmy, ja Jimmy Jackson was getting buckets with Dallas. Look. This was December... Of 93. Then they had Hakeem Olajuwon on the back. Because he started to really come on then. Then look at this one. Michael Jordan with the 4-5 on. This is when he returned. May of 95. Wow. Brian Grant was on the back of this magazine. And look. He didn't have uh, locks in his hair. He had a fade then. And look at this one right here. This is from February of 96. Once the Bulls was back at it, winning more championships. Got Michael Jordan in the front. Oh my gosh, look. Ed O'Bannon. Ed O'Bannon on the back. UCLA product. So, we are going to check the price that Michael Jordan's rookie card was worth back then. Okay. So you see this? This is the year, that 86, 87 year. Even though Jordan was a rookie in 84, 85, it's like they weren't making cards like they should back then. So, I mean, Jordan had a rookie card, but his star... Rookie card 
It turned out not to be his main rookie card. It's his Flair rookie card from 86-87. So at the time, at the time of this magazine, his card value, as you can see, I don't know if you can see. I'm going to try my best to let y'all see. Does this thing... I'm going to switch sides so you guys can see. Hold on. Okay. There we go. The whole set. You could have gotten the whole entire 86, 87 flare set for $800 back then. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at the value of the cards back then. Charles Barkley, rookie card, $60. Benoit Benjamin, Clyde Drexler, 65 Patrick Ewing, 75 And it was going down. The Knicks... So up and down. Look at that. Michael Jordan's rookie card could have been bought for $475 in mint condition. A top graded rookie card of Michael Jordan. For $475. And this magazine is from July of 92. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the following month. The following month, that same Michael Jordan rookie card was now going for $500 in the following month. So that was August of 92. So we go to September of 93 was the next time Jordan was on the front cover. Trust me, I bought every last one of the magazines leading up to this time. Look at that. That same Charles Barkley is now worth $250 a year later. Can you believe that? Patrick Ewing now worth $90. And Michael Jordan's rookie card is now worth $850. Okay, now we go on to December. December of 93. How does the book just open to that page? Now that you got to get the whole complete set for $1,700. $1, Charles Barkley, $250. Patrick Ewan went down a little bit. Michael Jordan, $900. Okay, two years later, we go to May of 95. I remember getting all of these cards, all of the cards in these sets. I remember you could get this card for $4. I have that card. It's worth a lot more than $4 now. I remember this David Robinson rookie card was like so hard to get. I would get like every pack of cards trying to get it instead of just paying $20 for it. I didn't have the $20 to pay for it. Anyway, so we're going to go over here to that set. $1,200 for the whole set. Oh, Michael Jordan, $750 for that card. So that means it kind of went down. You want to know why? He switched to the first he retired, then he switched to the number 45, and the Bulls lost that season. So since they lost that season, his card was not in as high demand. But let's see what happened February of 96. Let's see. Let's see. Man, I used to get all of these cards. This is like memories for me. <clears throat> okay, guys. So let's see. That flare set is 1200 That Jordan card, still 800 
So guys, Jordan's rookie card continued to increase in value. And look at this. We are now in 2020 December. And this same card, Michael Jordan rookie card. Graded at 10. Just sold in an auction. Bulls legend Michael Jordan, a rookie card, sells for record 150000 at an auction. Oh my goodness. 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 God. I wish I would have bought that whole entire set. I wish I would have got into cards four years earlier because I definitely would have so many versions of that card. Or maybe it costs so much because it's hard to find. Man. But guys, doesn't that just show you how the value within the basketball card game and baseball card game can be, I mean, you can have such a high markup. We saw a card that once was three to $500 selling now for $150,000. Will we ever see a markup like that again? Will we see cards increase in value like that again? Or is that's it? Or is this it? Has the game now changed? Has it evolved? Or do we still see the same thing happen with uh, Giannis cards, with LeBron cards? Will we continue to see this type of stuff happening? You guys tell me. But like I said, I wish I would have got my hands on that set. Because every card that was such a, a top NBA draft, every card within that set, is worth money and guys look what I have look what I have look what I have here oh my god yes guys this card this card right here is the card that they're showing right there oh my goodness guys i've never gotten any of my cars graded before never never had a car graded but i think that's gonna have to change i think we're gonna start getting our cars graded because man things have changed so much back in the days you could only go to uh an auction now the internet is an auction this is unbelievable and I live in Southern, I live in California, man. So, you know, I was, I grew up in New York City. And, you know, my dad would work uh, on Wall Street and I would see the guys with the briefcases and everything. And I said to myself, man, I want to get involved in the stock market. So for me, collecting cards was my stock market as a child. And that's why I, I was so uh, into it, because this was my stock market. And I got out of it, you know, had a couple friends make it to the NBA. And then I wanted to make my focus on me making the NBA. So, you know, I wanted to be cool. So I got out of the things that I was doing, that I was doing at the time, which was collecting cars. I wish I would have never stopped ever and just continued and been consistent with it. But I wasn't. But I've returned. You know, unfortunately, Kobe Bryant passed. But when Kobe Bryant passed, I kind of, it was a combination of Kobe Bryant and the players that are now in the NBA. Zion Williamson and John Morant. These players brought an excitement level in me that made me say, I want to get back into collecting cards. And then, unfortunately, Kobe passed and... You know, that also contributed to it as well. Contributed into me saying I wanted to uh, get back in this card game. So, guys, I have the card. 
I want to get the card graded. I got to see how much this card is worth. As you see, the edges are, my edges are fine. My edges are all fine. So, oh, look at that. It's card number 57. We got card number 57. I mean, I don't know. They all go in different values. I have to figure out this game or how I'm going to get all my cards graded and find out what's what. So, oh my gosh. Exciting times, guys. Exciting times. That's all I can say. I, I really like collecting cards. Something I've been passionate about for a while. So, what I will do is I'm going to continue to be making videos on different cards that I have. We will go through the old magazines and see what the cards used to be worth and see what they're worth now. Um, I'm into collecting cards in today's day, but it's a little different to me. You know what I mean? It, I don't see as high markups, so maybe I'm just missing it because this really is like my first year back into collecting cards. I bought my first Beckett magazine again this year. So, guys, I'm just excited. Hi. I'm just excited to do what I'm doing, and um, I look forward to continuing to do the card thing and get fully back in it, but I got my own things that I do now. I invest time in my kids. My kids make videos. They make content. My kids have channels. Oh, leave that. Why do you have to do that in the middle of my video? Can I finish, please? Can I finish? Pick that up that you knocked down, man. All right, guys. So. My son is calling for my attention, my youngest son. So, guys, on that note, like, comment, share, subscribe now. Happy and you know it, say, hey, peace. Happy and you know it, say, hey.